What's up, happy new years, and hope everyone's been doing well. This is gonna be the first video of the year, and it's going to be an update video on some of the things that I'm working on and plan to work on for the month of January. So let's go ahead and uh, hop into the screen right now. And I have been working on the audiobook maker this week back and um, have added some features into this. So if you are uh, following the audiobook maker project that I'm running, um, I have added a couple of new things and removed one thing. So I removed the regen mode. I think it's kind of unintuitive. And then I added a, um, a column where you can select which sentence you want to regenerate for. And then I added the ability to edit sentences inside of the user interface. So if we go into here, if I load a text file real quick, uh, let's just go ahead and uh, get that in here. Um, you can see that there's a new column where I can toggle regen, like if I want to regen a sentence after a certain generation. And then I've also um, allowed the ability to edit, you know, the sentences. I could add something like that. And oh, in order for you to get out of it, you have to just click out of the box and it'll update the sentence. So added that. And then I've also um, made the addition to change the speaker uh, or to keep track of the speaker in another column as well. Uh, a user pointed out that it's, um, oh, here, let me create a new directory. Yeah, a user pointed out that it's kind of hard to keep track of the um, colors for which speaker you're running. So yeah, this case, in this way, you can keep track of the speaker. Um, it's kind of buggy right here where it doesn't center uh, for or when you assign, but it will recenter once you um, start uh, generating the audiobook. So that uh, those are some new things that I've added. Um, you can clear regen uh, checkboxes in bulk on this right hand uh, or this button here. Yes, and it'll clear um, all of the regen options. And yeah, just some of the things in here. There are some optimizations that I need to do, though, because um, I yeah rough roughly implemented it and didn't get to make sure and make sure to test that everything is buttery smooth, but um yeah that is uh the audiobook maker working on adding some stuff and I mentioned earlier that a user suggested uh, the thing the feature the enhancement and yeah inside of the issues tab here uh, I'm looking at some of the issues that are being raised and adding these enhancement tags I'll be going back through some of these um that were uh, raised. Uh, just to add the correct tag to it or close them if they need to be uh, just so that I don't get too far behind here. But out it's because I was out for like a few weeks and wasn't working too much on the uh, audiobook maker. So that is pretty much it. If you want to follow what I'm working on, you can go to the 3.4 branch here. Um, that's where I'm doing all of my current updates and um yeah, that's going to be the audiobook maker. We'll be releasing that hopefully uh, maybe sometime next week. And then I am going to be working on version 4.0, which is going to include um, a voice trainer. And then at the same time, that's probably when I'm going to increase the price of the package for the audiobook maker. If you're one that is if you're planning on buying it. So if you already have it, you'll have all the updates in the future. So uh, that is uh, that. Now, some of the other things that I've been working on and talking about is the Open Neurosama Project. Um, some people were uh, left a comment like, should I call it Neurosama? Um, and I was thinking uh, I could change the name to Open Neurosama Like or Open VTuber or, or something like that. Um, and yeah, you know, but for now, I think I'm just going to leave it at Open Neurosama unless I run into some issues and if I run into any issues, I'll just rename it. But that's kind of the inspiration behind this project. Um, I haven't really added anything new to it for um, recently. And so the updates or the code that's in here from three weeks ago is still about the same code that's in there from three weeks ago. So yeah, looking at some other things that I can try to use to uh, make this a little bit faster. Um, a little bit more intuitive. So I've been looking at things like this, which is a um, a GPT model that uh, has like vision and speech interaction, kind of like a 4.0 from ChatGPT. And uh, this would be the most optimal 
a way of running a let's say like a like a vtuber because you don't need to have a bunch of models in a series um and so looking around for technologies like this so this was one that i found that was like uh recently released and we'll be looking at it so this is pretty cool we can take a look at this demo video right here so here we go just going to play the video real quick um just for the demonstration and uh so there you go you get the point if you want to see the full demo video uh, head on over into the repo here but um yeah a lot of great stuff coming out of china for ai um, at least in the area that I'm particularly interested, like we get a lot of the text-to-speech models from China, a lot of the speech-to-speech -speech, like RVC, um, GPT Soviet, stuff like that. Uh, so lots of good stuff from over there in the East coming out. And uh, yeah, excited to kind of test this out. And then um, we there are some other ones like Llama Omni that... Uh, I didn't really get to take a look at but i don't think these ones have vision these ones are like mainly speech so that you can like speak to the language model and it um digests speech tokens um natively and doesn't need to um have all of the models in sequence for that so yeah just looking around for stuff like that and then um nvidia had their their release for the 5090 so i think i'm gonna try to uh try to beat out the bots to get a, a 5090 uh, just to test out. So if you guys want to see any benchmarks with that, let me know. Um, this is going to cost me an arm and a leg. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that, that goes. So I'm going to need you guys to buy some audiobook makers so that um, we can test out this GPU here. Um, but yeah, for the most part, mainly just working on the audiobook maker, getting some updates out there and um, the Open Neurosama project. But for now, that's going to be it. And um, once again, I would like to thank all the members of the channel for supporting me over these past many, many months. And uh, yeah, if there's anything you guys actually want to or if you guys want to see anything um, different, anything new, want me to look at any new technologies, uh, let me know. I know some people have left comments to look at different like text to speech softwares um, and to take a look at some of the other things uh, or like some other models that have been released. Um, so. Yeah, maybe. We'll see if I can get around to that. But that's going to be it, and I will see you guys later.